Editing presets is pretty straightforward. You can pick the preset you want to edit. On top it'll tell you the preset number, the full name, the nickname, and you can just uh, click in with your mouse and change the name. And that's how you do it. Hit the tab key and go ahead and make your changes. So tab forward and backwards will highlight the whole thing and delete it as you start typing. So that's how you change the full name, nickname. The, the middle part of the screen here allows you to set parameters. Uh, resend IA triggers is on by default. Resend global and so on. So for each of your parameters you just go ahead and click or unclick uh, the settings and it will take effect. Over on this end uh, if you're using steps within your MIDI programming which I'll show in a second then you can go ahead and type in names for those steps and I'll go ahead and do that. I'll say color blue. You'll see why in a second. Color yellow and let's see color white Okay, so I'll just leave that for now. Uh, when you scroll up and down, you'll um, automatically save your settings. So you can see as I start scrolling through, my changes to my name and my uh, couple of parameters have now stuck, if you will. And uh, let me do the bottom part of the screen, and then we'll do the uh, the middle section here. So on the bottom, we have initial states for each of the IA slots that you create. You may use them, you may not. Uh, if you click on a IA slot button, you will change its state from off to on to bypass mode. When you do that, it gives you the information down here of what that IA slot represents. So in this case, it's um, IA slot 1. It's in a bypass state, and the name that you've given it is a reverb 1. So if I go into IA slots real quick, and select number one you'll see that it's reverb and this is the command for it. Okay, so you go ahead and uh, just make your changes. It's very rapid and easy to do and you're done. So that's how you create for all 60 IA slots. Uh, just pick the slot you want to change and um, you don't have to guess anymore uh, with this editor. If you leave your mouse on a button you will see the um, uh, the help tag tells you what it is and, and then down here it tells you what it is as well. So that leaves uh, programming commands. I try to make this as easy as possible. Go ahead and click the command. Let's start with an empty. So I'm going to create a very simple uh, step command uh, for this particular preset. So if I go ahead and uh, let's start with a step and you can see that it knows that it's already on step number one and step number one I called uh, color blue which is right here right here is the name so that's my first step and I'll go ahead and uh, let's see so let's program a command set color and now it knows I need a parameter so hit the down key and give it a color so we're gonna make that blue so I'll make that blue bright uh, let's do blue dim okay I'm gonna create another step and I call that step yellow, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just giving a simple example here. Uh, so let's make that yellow. And let's create a third step. And set the color to uh, white. Okay. So in a matter of seconds, I, cr I created uh, a set of programming. Now this, if uh, we were to select uh, this preset, it would go into step mode and then the screen would turn blue and we step on it again, turns yellow, step on it again, turns white. Now typically, oh, and the other thing with regard to this list is you can move things around. So if I click and drag, I can move functions around. Okay, this will come in handy uh, later. So I'm going to go ahead and empty that, clear that, clear that. Okay, so that's a quick way of programming special functions. Let me go ahead and program a MIDI command. And a MIDI command, which is typically what you'll be doing, 
the first thing you're going to do is set a MIDI channel. Uh, so let's say MIDI channel 1. Then you're going to tell it what command you want to send. So for a preset, you're usually sending a program change message. And then I'm going to tell it what number message to send. And I could do the same thing um, with a um, MIDI command. Let's go to preset 1. Let's send a CC number. Now with CC numbers, you're actually sending two commands. So in this case, I'll send uh, CC number 100, and I'm going to turn it on. So turn that to a 127. So really, that's uh, this is kind of a sloppy presentation here, but you get the idea is that uh, you can start layering uh, MIDI commands on and build them very quickly, and then move them around as you have to in case you made some mistakes. So that is how you utilize this screen here. Uh, now I'm making a mess out of it. Typically you'll have, uh, let's see, so he here's a uh, set of presets and you can see that they're program change messages and you'll see this number changing to follow the program that you're changing. So you can see I'm sending program change message 6. If in your settings you have a device personality uh, and it's turned on, uh, then your preset uh, numbers that you're typing in will actually follow um, I'll show that in a different video, um, but it, it'll change what number you're typing in here to follow your offsets. So if I uh, actually, let's do that. So I'm going to turn offsets on. And uh, when I do that, you'll see this number then jump down, which would make sense. Um, so uh, I'll explain this later. Uh, so that's actually how we use presets. Now the sorter for presets, when we come into the screen, we can go ahead uh, and grab a preset, drag and drop. So let's take um, yeah, Crystal Echoes and bring it down. And you can see now Crystal Echoes is number seven. Now, when I double clicked on it, it brought me back to three because I selected Crystal Echoes, but I actually didn't save my changes. So the point of that is you can make a lot of changes on the screen but if you feel like you didn't do something right you want to kind of start all over just hit the revert key once you hit save so let's make a change uh, so now I moved east west up to uh, six once you save it uh, that's in there and so now east west and also show that it's different because it doesn't match what's in the liquid foot but if I double click east west now it takes me to preset six and seven and so on so once you save it, uh, those changes, all the changes made on this screen are permanent. So if I went ahead and uh, inserted a couple of empty records, you can see that I've done that now. I save it. Well, when I go to that on the screen, you can see that the empty record, it automatically stored default values in these locations. So I started inserting. If I delete now, everything is yellow because I've just changed the whole system, but I can go ahead and uh, delete those records, save it, uh, and now they're gone. So that's that's how you use the, uh, this screen. So it tells you what's the same, what's different, gives you color codings. Um, you can insert, you could delete, you could cut, copy, and paste. Pretty straightforward. When you click on a um, element, uh, just in case you need to see it in larger letters, it's there, but that's not useful otherwise. So that's the preset menu.